I am Growing Up City, and this is the middle school baseball championship. Oh, won't you listen what the man says? He says, burn out, burn, burn out, burn. Oh, yes, indeed, we know. We're going no! to find the. Don't do us like that, Isaac. Graphics, teams, action. Don't you know by now? Tell the people mama told you so. Catchers want to play shortstop. Centers want to be guards. Linemen want to play wide receiver. Isaac wants to sing. Don't you people have any compassion? No, no compassion. Not at that price. Oh, won't you listen what the graphic says it says. Last year's champions, the Aptis Tigers, trying to double dip. And if there's two things Tigers have, it's breakfast cereal and pride. That means they are willing to do whatever it takes to defend their title. After eating a nutritious breakfast and a healthy lunch, of course. The upstart, APG and Ninny Jaguars. Looking to overturn the mango cart. They have already navigated a dangerous minefield of a playoff bracket, including beating the league's regular season number one team just to make it to this point. Bottom of one, runners at second and third, two outs, Zico, Giametti, you bet he does. Slice a sliver off the outside corner of the plate to escape. Shea Morganson working the outside portion of the plate as well. I do believe that's the heater he turns to to retire the batter. Sometimes it's not how hard you hit him, but where you hit him. That ball takes a curious bounce, and Diego Eisler has the speed to beat it out. He's over there at first with the first hit of the ball game. To help get out of the inning, Calvin Wagner slides right on over Can O'Corn. He throws hard with accuracy. What more can you ask from a pitcher? Top of three, Shea Morganson humming along, yet to give up a hit. He was the winning pitcher as a seventh grader in last year's championship game, and he looks pretty comfortable out there today. Zico Giametti strolls up to the plate with ideas of changing all that with a wicked at bat. When it's all said and done, he would be at second with a double of the stand-up variety. After a wild pitch, he would be at third, 90 feet away from his desired location. But who's going to drive you home today? Bat on ball, Weston Sabo. A great jump from Zico and the AP Gin and Jags have jumped out on top. Morganson would reimpose his will high and hard to end the inning and bring he and his mates to the plate. Look at that sucker just fall off the table. North, south, with a few other directions in between. Zico with a multitude of arrows in his quiver. He's got three strikeouts by the middle of the third. Not only does the morgue kill on the hill, Shea Slay with the medal as well. Ball to the wall. And the kid has wings on his heels, flying around second. Smooth sliding into third, 90 feet away from his destination. Home. Who doesn't want to go there? Johnson steps up to the plate and Logan lays down the law as well as a perfectly executed safety squeeze. Head first, homeward, comes the morgster and we are all knotted up, one apiece, still in the third. Giametti got some mess to clean up. He takes the sting out of the bat and makes a clean play, barehanding it. Throw on over to end the frame. Top of four. Set him up. Knock him down. Shea continues to shine. 
bottom four now. That is a long throw over. Hunter Huang rears back and lets it fly to the most positive of results. Still 1-1, top of five. Shea saws him off and then he fields his position. He's a one-man wrecking crew. But nobody can go it all alone all the time. Sooner or later, you're going to need your friends. Then Galob takes charge of the tricky ball hit down the line. He plays it so it won't play him. That's the way you do it. Have it around, boys. When you get the job done, you gots to have a little fun. Uh, this bump. Bottom of five, still tied, 1-1. One, one. Tucker Mayor Tim is a fire starter. Dropping it in, lead off single for him. Then with runners at first and second, Diego Peasler. Crunch, 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 crunch. Crunch it, crunch it. It gets through and scatters the geese. It's getting dangerously precariously out there. Diego in fuego. He's at second with two RBI to call his very own. And one thing I know about geese, geese are mean. And here is the importance of putting the bat on the ball. Tricky hop off the lip of the carpet. And Soren Wheeler has got himself a single and an RBI. They score four in the frame to take a 5-1 lead and go about protecting that lead in the top of the sixth. These numbers are unofficial, but this is what I've got. Six full innings pitched, one hit, one run, and 10 strikeouts along the way. This time, he gets the reverse K with a helping hand from his battery mate. Or should I say helping glove? When catcher Otto Huerta Ortiz receives the ball, it looks high and outside. Then he quickly pulls it down and in. I've got it clocked at 9 tenths of a second, forcing the umpire. Ring a ding ding. The Jaguars employ the specialized services of Weston Zabo and he's throwing the stank ball. Dancing down and in against the righty, the lefty getting funky with it. No such happenings against Tucker Mayor Tam. Lefty on lefty crime, he got it timed perfectly. These kids today are savvy savages. They fully understand the importance of purchasing insurance in this life. Wheeler Lord hustling all the way. He will score. They tack on two more. Shea Golden at second base with another spectacular all-around championship day performance. Logan Johnson joins the party in a big time way. He hits the piñata like you oughta. And the candy that comes out is an RBI double and he got moves, baby. Everybody gotta have something. And as the sun sets at West Sunset, that's what it does out there. Tucker, Mayor, Tam. You can't just say one without the others. Closes it out with a one, two, three, seven. Three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> Last night, you know, you're going to bed. I'm sure you're thinking about this game. You know, what's running through your mind? Just play hard, play fearless. Uh, just have trust in my teammates, have faith in my teammates, have faith in myself, and just go out and just be the best I could be. And don't get down to myself, be a leader. We really grew as a team this year. Some kids I didn't really talk to, now I do. Just like bonding with them, playing baseball with them all the time, getting hype for them, even when they're low, picking them up and just, just growing that 
grown that friendship. What was your attitude, your feelings? Were you nervous just going into this game? Um, I was pretty excited because like we've been practicing and like playing all season for this game. So I knew it was like, I was pretty excited for today. After the final strikeout and it hit you that you won, what was that feeling like? Yeah, at first, like I wasn't sure if it was a strikeout, but then I realized and I was like super excited because like all season we've been like riding towards this moment. So is that kind of how sports brings people together? Talk a little bit about that if you can. Yeah, I think that you, you develop great uh, friendships like when you're on sports teams, when you're with people because you hang out with them and practice with them. You go through like ups and downs with them. Oh, won't you listen what the man says? He says, burn out, bow, burn out, bow.